people YouTube, it's me, the Malik Aaron Aaron, and I know this is coming out ridiculously late. I sincerely apologize for that. I had a very long day today. I had a, you know, um, was just like, you're going to visit a college. And we were there for like three or four hours. It was brutal. So, yeah, that took a lot out of my day. So, I'm just going to review this. I'm going to never talk about it again. I, just, I reviewed the first one. And I recently did the third one. Now it's time to do the middle child, I presume. Taken 2. Yeah. Or everyone was excited about this movie because the first Taken, while generally... Critics gave it a somewhat mixed reception. Audiences loved it. They embraced it. it. Ended up having some incredible holds. And became, I assume, it sold a whole lot of copies on DVD. Back when that was a thing. So obviously everyone was hyped for the second one. Because you yeah, have Liam Neeson, again, reprising his second most famous role. Other than Phantom Menace, uh, Kawhi John and Jim. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to read this little plot synopsis right there. If you don't want to read it, then don't read it, I guess. So, Liam Neeson returns as Brian Mills, the ex-CIA uh, operative who stopped at nothing to rescue his daughter from sadistic kidnappers. When the father of one of the kidnappers swears revenge, it is Brian and his wife who find themselves taken... Uh, hostage in Istanbul. I am so sorry if I mispronounced that. I am terribly sorry about that. Uh, to survive, Brian must enlist the help of an unlikely, unlikely ally, his daughter, and use his brutal, efficient skills to take out his heavily armed foes one by one. So yeah, it's it's pretty simple. It's basically it takes place after the first movie. All, all those guys, uh, William Neeson killed in the first movie. Guess what? They got relatives and just like, you're going to die. We're going to get our revenge. And yeah. <laughs> I mean, now they they go on another foreign vacation. Um, just like, if it, if it went horribly the first time, Maybe you shouldn't do it the second time. <laughs> but, I don't know, it's just, just what they wanted to do. And then him and uh, his wife, uh, Pom K. Jensen, get kidnapped or taken, as I like to say it. And, you know, they're just there and they're like, we will kill you. And in order to do something to make the... Have more suspense. They split a tiny cut on Pop K. Johnson's neck like this. And she's blit and she's hanging upside down. Which means the blood when you hang it upside down, the blood goes down to your head. Before it goes to the head, it goes to your neck. And the blood will start dripping and dripping and dripping. And after a while, all that blood comes out and she is dead. Well, she would die anyway. <laughs> In the sec in the third uh, movie, which I review, you can go check that out. So yeah, then uh, Liam Neeson's just like, who should I get? I should get my daughter, who is the oldest teenager of all time. So uh, he gets his daughter, you know, to help him out. He's like, you gotta go from point A to point B to help me out in this situation. And then she does, she does, you know, what he says. She even throws grenades off of her roof. Oh, that's something you just have to watch for yourself, because it's pretty funny. So, eventually, you know, the enemy gets free and kills everybody in sight. And then it goes as you expect, and then he ends. They're, they're a big, happy family until the third movie, where everything falls apart, and... It's not much to say. The reason why I don't, um, there's two reasons why I don't sound that enthused right now. One, 
it's late, and two, I don't feel like talking about this movie. Because, I mean, Liam Neeson, you can tell he he's just looking at that paycheck just like, you're mine, I'm going to go through this thing with my eyes closed, I'm going to get that paycheck. So, yeah. I mean, he's still good in the movie, obviously. Fakke Jensen uh, still, is still good. His daughter is mm, okay-ish. The villains are just generic, generic born villains because we clearly, in these type of movies, American villains clearly don't exist. Now, all the evil people come from outside the U.S. of A. Clearly. Ugh. Hate when they do that. Because it's so cliche. But anywho. Then the action. So, the guy who made this, Olivier Megaton. It's a very nice name. He did Taken 3, and it clearly shows, because the action is awful, it is horrible, it is just a complete disaster. It's, like, while it does get worse in Taken 3, here it's not much better, like, you can really, you can barely see anything, like, there's just so many cuts, it's, you can clearly tell this was... This was an R-rated movie turned into a PG-13 movie so they can make more money off of it. And... Yeah, you, it clearly shows. It's, it's truly awful. I don't know how he got the job, but... He must have a great agent. <laughs> in order to do it. Now, that's all I have to say about Taken 2. Liam Neeson's fine, Pumpkin K. Justin's fine, uh, Maggie Grace, his daughter, fine, villains are generic, story is generic, there are some pretty hilarious moments, unintentional hilarious moments, um, action is horrible, complete, just, it's like, it's like they gave like a seven year old kid, like, a camera, and like, um, how much this movie costs like 80 million like, like we're gonna give you like 80 million dollars make a movie do action just and he's like what do i do and just like just just press this cut button and then you're just gonna keep pressing it <laughs> to make it more cool looking it's just like okay and that's what it honestly looks like yeah it's just it's bad i'm gonna give this it's not quite as bad as Taken 3, but it's still up there. I'm gonna give this... Um... A 3.5 out of 10. Don't watch this. Please don't. It's not worth it. If you did watch this, you probably saw it in theaters, hoping it would be great. Because, box office-wise, this movie on its opening weekend, its box office doubled, repeat, doubled the original. Granted, it didn't make, it failed to match the original in the States, but it made a whole lot of money outside the States. And I've been making a huge profit, and that's how Taken 3 happened. And that's how the TV series happened, that I will never talk about, because one, I don't care, two, I never saw it, and three, I've heard it is horrible. So... That's the end of the Taken series that I'm going to talk about. This is the last mention of Taken you will ever see here in these videos. So yeah, that's Taken 2. Now, it's going to be an announcement. It's going to be made by Vinny Mac himself, Vince McMahon. Because now he's on the show. If you've seen the last video I made, um, he debuted... And now he thinks he's going to run things. Man, good luck to him. And now we're going to get to that right now. Yeah. Welcome everyone to... Uh, I don't even know. Um, uh, WrestleMania. Vince, it is September. We are not even in springtime. Shut up. 
to WrestleMania than me. And now, I am here with my two favorite people in the world. My two sons. The game, Triple H. And the big dog, Roman Reigns. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait a minute. Hold up. When was Roman ever your son? He's the son I never had. Clearly. That explains how he's pushed the way he is. So, okay, why'd you bring these two here? So that's what type of announce announcement are you even making? I'm getting to that. So you know about the, I've heard about this 30-man Royal Rumble, right? Well, yeah, there's going to be a 30-man Rumble um, for well, my 150th uh, video. Why? Well, I guess you're going to have to change that 30-man Royal Rumble to a 31-man Royal Rumble. Because I am officially announced uh, that I will fight in the Rumble. Wow, that's... It's pretty... <laughs> Pretty groundbreaking, so you just got here. Hey, I want a Royal Rumble. Yes. I know, Vince. I know. And I tried to forget it, but you didn't. Great job. Dad, why well, you have to be in the Rumble? Can it go to someone else who has talent? You know, that's not in really in the show? Shut up. No one has talent. You two are the only one ones who have Legit of a talent. I mean, I mean, let's look at all this. People already in the Rumble. <sighs> that Daniel Bryan troll face. That CM Punk thinks he's so cool because he doesn't do drugs. Oh, that's Cesaro. I just don't like him. Maybe it's because he's Swiss. Vince, that's racist. Man, shut up. I just don't like him, that's all. Uh, that Alberto Del Rio thinks he's better than everybody. What he's doing to Paige is horrible. Uh, who else is in there? Uh, that Dolph Ziggler can't trust him with a title because he's going to get hurt because he's useless. And I'll give him this, he just run out with gimmicks. I really want to fire him soon. Well, yeah, he is pretty bad. But you know what the heck's so mean about everybody? I'm the boss. I'm Vincent Kennedy McMahon. I can do what I want. Yeah. So, now I'm going to go on a little ego trip. Oh, no. Please do not go on your ego trip. I can and I will. That's my line. I created that life for you, Robin. Now, I'm going to give you all a little backstory about me. Oh, Boy, this should be fun, real fun. But you know, before we get to that, can I just tell all three of you what the next review is? Sure. All right, it stars Ben Affleck. Um, Daredevil? No. Pearl Harbor? He did that. Armageddon? No. Geely? You are out of your mind if you think I'm ever gonna review that. Roman, um, I'm trying to think of the one that came out recently, Live By Night? Nobody saw that, Roman, that bombed hard. Come on, it was another one that happened. Um, oh, I know, The Accountant. Yes, that is the next review. Well, that movie's kind of sweet. I thought it got bad rap from critics. Maybe we're just burnt from Batman v Superman. Probably. Anywho! Oh boy, Vince. Let's. Everyone just. Let's just hear your past. So I'm Vincent Kennedy McMahon, the chairman of the board. Um. And. Started wrestling, took it all from my father. Made WrestleMania. I made Hulk Hogan until he left me. Then, so many stars came and went with that awful new generation. Then I made the Attitude Era to fight WCW because they're about to kill my company. 
I made Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, you, Triple H, uh, Mankind, all these awesome names. And we beat WCW, we destroyed them. And then I destroyed him again with the invasion angle. Oh no. Here we go. Here's all the real stuff gonna kick in. <laughs> Shut up! I killed both WCW and ECW at the same time. The invasion angle made no one look strong except my guys. Yeah. So after that, um I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah. 2003, that was the year of Vinny Mac. Yeah. I was on SmackDown. Fought Hulk Hogan in a street fight. I lost. But I got the last laugh because I fired him. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Then later that year, I end up, I beat not only a crippled wrestler with one leg, not only that, but I beat my own daughter in an I Quit match. Oh, Vince. Please do not get into those. Nobody wants to be reminded of those. No, I'm not done. Oh. Oh, I know what you're going to talk about next. Then my feud with Shawn Michaels. Oh, dear. Viewers, if you're listening, I suggest... Don't stop watching. No, they're going to keep watching. So it's us six. Fuck Shawn Michaels. All right. Me and my son, Shane... Oh, uh, five WrestleMania 22. Um, I lost. But then, the next month, I challenged. Me and Shane challenged Shawn Michaels and to team up with the Lord Almighty himself. Oh, no, no, no. I really should cut the camera now. Yeah, and guess what? I beat... God, I beat him and Sean in a tag match. Vince, no one wants to get reminded of that because what you did, all you did was portray him as a spotlight. And then he was just dancing, just like, with somebody call my mama. Like, that's just horrible. You're horrible. I'm Vincent McMahon. Yeah. That's that's all I did. Yeah. I'm the best. Vince, you're clearly not. And also, uh, next year, um, I had an illegitimate son. Oh, you know what? I think that's all, folks. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, and, and you can watch for more videos. I'm not done. And even better, I even planned... But myself, with a storyline with my daughter, since she was pregnant at the time, thanks to you know, Triple H, you know, her husband, I plan on doing an incest angle. Okay, that's it. I'm cutting the camera. Goodbye. You better not cut the camera.